off with the colors They kinda tell me what I'm thinking I fell in love with the way we are And the way we lose it There's something different about us And the reason why we stay Hi guys, we aren't in Hawaii anymore. And it's been a couple days, you've had a couple home videos since we got home from Hawaii. I did not have my act together to film this in Hawaii. I always like to film it outside, even like my intro, but it was so windy. Um, if you <laughs> noticed from a lot of the videos, we ended up having to do like montage style because um, it was it was a windy there and so talking on camera it was next to impossible for us to do in a sit down out on our lanai kind of a video that didn't happen while we were there and we just utilized all of our time while we were there so ashley's gonna join me and we're gonna go through all the different things i'm i'm guarantee we for we don't have everything here. Uh, I tried to kind of go through the girls' closets. They've already unpacked everything. I not me. <laughs> you, you, she hasn't unpacked, but like every, unpack. everyone else is unpacked. So I am missing one shirt, and it was interesting because Kaylee got a sweatshirt. Um, just at like one of the dinky, like uh, you know, sweatshirt shops. It wasn't anything fancy, but I was like, I've seen that pattern before, and she's like, No, I've never gotten this pattern before. I was literally just going through her closet, the same pattern, same color from Kona, Hawaii, from the Big Island last year. <laughs> I was like, I knew I saw that. I do your laundry, I know what you get. Um, okay, so we're gonna go through everything we've got. No rhyme or reason. I'm gonna try and keep them in little categories. I'm not gonna do them specifically for each child or anything. And at the very end, we did buy something that was a little bit of a splurge, but it is completely not Hawaii related. If you are going to Maui, it is something you can get from there, from a little kiosk. <laughs> What? Okay, you can't do that. Okay, now that Ashley finished her hair, a little twit. Okay, so if you do want the thing that I'm gonna show you at the very end, you can get it from a kiosk. It's right in the Whaler's Village, but it is completely not Hawaii related. I'll explain all of that and why we got it there um, at the very end, so stick around for that. But it is kind of a little bit of a life-changing thing that we got, just a heads up. All right, first off, just because they're right here in front of me, we got some souvenirs for our employees. Um, we don't have four employees. <laughs> Not sure why Jason got four of them, but lucky me, I get to pick one out and keep one for myself. These are just little um, bamboo candles. Uh, what are they technically called? Bungalow Glow, handmade in Hawaii with aloha. This one is Sweet Hawaiian Plumeria. It's a little wood candle. And this one is Lil Lilikoi Shave Ice. I think that's the one I'm gonna keep. Um, South Shore Sweetie. And then this one is Epic Nectar. So we're gonna give those to our employees along with a few other things. Maybe I'll just say a few other things that I got for the employees. Um, this came with the room, so if you're an employee, <laughs> only one of you might watch. I just didn't eat these. They're chocolate. They came with the room. Cute little bag. So I'm gonna make little gift baskets like I did last time. And we got this from the hotel room. We don't drink coffee, so I'm gonna go ahead and pass this on to probably one of our employees. We only had one package of this. Um, so we're gonna put that into a gift bag for our employees. So next up, we're gonna kinda start small. I got some stickers. <laughs> I'm gonna put some stickers on my water bottle. Usually I put like a word on it, like I cut something out from my Cricut, but I just loved these ones. This one's just gonna kinda wrap around one side of it and then either put this one next to it or put it on the other side of the water bottle. I mean, come on. That's really cute. And then I found this sticker um, at the, what is it called? I don't even know. Whaler General Store, I think is what it's called. And it's bamboo. It's really thick. I don't know, it's really cool. It, like literally, it's bamboo, it's hard, but it's, I don't know, I just liked it a lot. And then if you saw that I got my tattoo, um, they gave us some free stickers from the Skin Factory. Jason actually has the t-shirt from there as well, so he didn't need to get a new t-shirt. Um, and then another store had, then another store had a turtle sticker with like tattoo style to it. A friend of mine um, got a tattoo for the first time just a few months ago, and I was kind of his inspiration to get a tattoo. He's like, if Dana can do it, I can do it. And he grew up in Maui. And I always like to get him a sticker in general, but I just thought this one was kind of fitting and he likes to put them on his water bottle and collect them as well. And so I told him last night, we went to have game night with him. And I told him this is gonna fit perfectly on your water bottle. And it's kind of cool because it's like a tattoo. And then Abby picked up a little postcard. She puts these on her wall in her bedroom. She kind of collects them. I tried to find another one to put on our little travel wall upstairs. We kind of had everyone that we saw in the stores. 
so we just didn't get one. And then again, start, we're gonna keep going with small things. The girls just picked up very simple bracelet. These are like the cheapy ones. I think, actually these ones were like two or three dollars. Um, they really are not that expensive, but they just like to have them when we're there. But this one is actually kind of cool. Chelsea got this one. Can you read that one? It's a Morse code bracelet and the, the little beads right here in the very center, they do Morse code for Ohana. And I just thought that was so neat that it was like a little bit different a little bit unique and her grandpa <laughs> My dad is a big ham radio person. He does ham radio for marathons. Um, he's actually gonna do one coming up really soon. And so he, he like his ringtone is a Morse code <laughs> on his cell phone. So this is a little on in honor of grandpa. Chelsea thought that one was very fun to get. All right, Ashley picked up these cute little claw clip. These are just from the ABC store. Do you wanna put one in your hair? Put one there and then I'll put one. You've been waiting to wear these. Come show them, come show them. <laughs> Her hair is a mess. She's been waiting, waiting to have access to those little claw clips. Again, super cheap, just from the ABC store, um, but just something fun to have when you come home. If you have seen my Hawaii videos before, you know that I collect these pins. It's just something stupid and silly. I don't need to collect them. I just think they're super cute. I have a little thing in my car on my mirror and I have them attached to a little rope that's in my car. I literally don't have room for any more on that. So I don't know what I'm gonna do or where I'm gonna put these sticker, where I'm gonna put these pins. But I also started putting them on my crossbody bag on strap. And so I got a couple duplicate to be able to put on my strap versus like, you know, I don't need to put two of these ones in the car. I already have this one in the car. I also have a very similar one to this one in the car. And so I thought that would be kind of cute to put them on my crossbody bag. So let's just go through these. So there's that guy and then a little shaka. And I like this one because it has a little Hawaii map in the thumb. Can you see that? And then that one again. And then this one is kind of cute because it's like Maui Islands all across there. And then I got another little hula girl. I thought she was cute. So she'll go on my crossbody because I already have her in the car. And then I got this Hawaii 501. So just something fun. I mean, it's simple. It's like 20 bucks to get all these little pins, but it's just something that I collect. You know, the kids collect something different and I like collect my little pins. Okay, so I also got some new scrunchies. I have an orange one. So now I have a pineapple white and yellow one. And then I also have this turquoise color. I was like, why don't I have this color? Literally the, the color I wear all the time. And I did wear this one the whole time we were there. Um, and the orange one that I already have that I got in Kona last year. So I have two new scrunchies and they're kind of cute because they have a little, a little dangly that hangs off of it. And they actually last. I mean, I've had mine for a year and they don't, they don't fall off. So I might actually pull my hair back because I'm getting hot. <laughs> but speaking of matching this shirt, so I got this shirt right here and I love it. Ashley, read what it says. Meet me in Hawaii. Maui, my happy place. Meet me in Hawaii, my happy place. And that's what I tell all my subscribers. Maybe we can meet in Hawaii someday. We have met actually two or three of you in Hawaii. And I just think that's so fun. But this Hawaii is my happy place. So I saw this one and I had to get it. And a quick side note, and I will talk about this in another video. I have a hard time, or I've had a hard time buying shirts and sweatshirts in Hawaii. Speaking of which, go get the one out of the dryer. There's one in the dryer. <laughs> Forgot I have one in the dryer. Literally everything is all over the house now. Uh, so while well, she's gone, I have a hard time walking into regular stores anywhere and being able to find my size, especially in Hawaii. And I don't, so I don't get to go to the cool stores and buy clothes because they don't fit me and I don't want to buy the men's shirts, but that's what I've had to do in the past. This shirt was from that Whaler's general store and I literally got to get it off the shelf. It's an extra large. It's just off the shelf. Put it on, didn't believe it would fit me and it fit me. So yay me. I get to wear clothes and I could just go, I get to go and shop like regular people and buy things at the store. It made me so happy. I was also able to get this sweatshirt. Did I hang it up already? I don't know. I'll find it and I'll show it to you guys here at the end. As you can tell, we're a little scattered and all over the place with this. So another t-shirt that we got, this is for our employee and I know he won't even watch this video. He's kind of a quirky dude and he's not married and he, let's just say he, uh, how do I be polite? He struggles to find girls. <laughs> He's 50, he's old enough to know, but this shirt was very fitting for him. Ashley, read this one. How to pick up chicks. <laughs> slowly, like a turtle, slowly pick them up. <laughs> um, 
Maui, Hawaii. Maui, Hawaii. So Jason got that for one of our employees. He won't get like the candles and the chocolates and the coffee. So my husband got him just a regular t-shirt. All right, so in terms of other sweatshirts that we got, you probably have seen Ashley wearing this one all the time. We actually had a fun time getting this sweatshirt. It was when on our date night when you went with us. She was able to pick out this sweatshirt and got it oversized from the Billabong store. We actually like tend to buy a lot of our t-shirts and sweatshirts from Billabong yeah. or Quicksilver or um, Volcom. They last longer than the sweatshirts and t-shirts from like the dinky stores, like the ABC stores. It's fine when you're first going to Hawaii and you get the cheap t-shirt and whatnot. But our kids like to wear the sweatshirts all season long and our season is like nine months long when it's cold and rainy and they don't hold up as well. As proof of my sweatshirt that I had on right before I started filming this, I got that one um, last year and it's literally in threads. It's almost falling apart. But again, I had to get that one because it was the only one that fit me and it's a men's and it fit me and it's just cheaper quality. So we tend to buy things that are a little bit higher quality, higher price, um, but Abby has great choice. Like her vibe is Billabong. Like I don't care what season it is. Her vibe is definitely Billabong. Does this one say anything? Does it say Maui? It says um, Fresh Waves Billabong. Fresh Waves Billabong. So total vibe for Abby and to Ashley. Kaylee just didn't find one in that store that she liked. Hers came from, like I said, just a regular old shop. She didn't really care. So next up, something that we actually always buy are the pineapple high chews. You can't get pineapple high chews anywhere but in Hawaii and you can't get them anywhere in Hawaii but at the ABC store. So if you ever want to try a really good high chew, get the pineapple one. The little koi ones are good too but we always get this big huge pack when we go um, and as you can see someone has already like dived into it. Um, we also got some chocolate to give to Ashley's teacher. Yeah, I still have Correct. Them. You can keep them in. Um, yeah. We got some chocolate to give to her teacher, which it's already been a week since school started back, but that's okay. And some other things that we do in terms of souvenirs that we, oh, Jacob and Kaylee are here. We are need to hurry the, the, do this or he's gonna start like, you know, going in behind me. So something that we started um, when we went to Maui for the first time, which was two years ago, is getting our pictures taken by the, pa the parrot guy. So I'm gonna show you Kaylee and Jacob's picture. It's fitting because they're pulling up right, right out front. Spend the money to get these, whether you're just there as a couple, or that you're there as a family, spend a little extra money and the time to go and get this kind of ex you know experience done and take the picture home with you. I absolutely love these photos. Um, they're bright, they're colorful. The parrots, if you're in Maui, they're so fun. Um, they're so talkative and they have personalities and the photographer is so great. He's been there for years and years. And so get the picture. Just go ahead and take the picture. And as I told Jason, he, he went into the luau with us and he was like, don't get the picture, don't order it, don't do it. And then they came by our table when he was getting us drinks. And I was like, oh, it's just, it's just an information packet for the next luau that we, we do. Nope, I ordered the picture. <laughs> So order the pictures. It's an experience. It's not something you're gonna be able to get back. Order the pictures. I'm looking outside. Jacob's literally sitting on the ground outside. Waiting for Kaylee to park. She wouldn't parallel park out front, so she's bar she's parking down the street. What a coop. All right, so what do we have next? All right, while we wait for them to come in, Ashley, should we open this up and yeah. show our Coco Nene purchase? My dear friend, Patty, who watches our channel and is very excited to go to Maui. She's going very soon, and I know she's gonna go and shop at this store but thanks to her she let me shop at this store you can't look how cute isn't that so cute so yes I explained this in another video that I already have this frame I actually have our parrot picture in that frame um but it, it kind of just matches I liked that it matched it and I didn't want another frame that was like too busy on the outside because either I'm gonna put our parrot picture our updated parrot picture in here or I'm going to put our beach photos that we got from our photographer and put that picture in here but literally Ohana it's like my big thing and it's part of the reason why I got the hip Hibiscus tattoo on my leg because the the flower itself um, is encompassing in family and friendship and ohana. Anyway, so great. So I was able to pick this up at the Coco Nene store. In case you have never gone to any store like this, they have them all over Hawaii. I've actually gone to them on three different islands. I've gone to them on Oahu, on Kauai, and now on Maui. So you can definitely find this store. Um, did they have them on the big island? I did not 
see it on the Big Island. They didn't have They did that. not have that. Um, so you pick out little pieces and they go onto this little surfboard base and you can customize it to be anything you want. Um, you don't have to put a frame on this one. I have plenty up above and you can just customize them. I just absolutely love this store. I, could, I did spend hours <laughs> in this store. Great gift, but it's also a way to bring home the memories, especially if you order those photos. See, this is why you should order the photos and then you should go to the Coco Nene store and pick up something to put the photos in when you come home. You don't even have to think about it. All of it is a souvenir of the memories that you have in Hawaii. I forgot one little thing that Ashley picked up. This is in the little baby store. <laughs> she walked in and I think she knew that they'd have this teeny tiny little butterfly clip. Yes, we could have gotten something like that here at Target, but here you wanna show them? She loves to, here, come over here. She was doing this the whole time we were there. She would put little braid hair all the way around fun. and then she would put these butterflies in and I just think it is fun. It's just like, and when are you gonna be able to, you know, there's only so long that you get to be a little kid and you know, put little butterflies in your hair and on your nose. So that was kind of a fun little gift for her to get. Okay, hand me the Crocs. All Chelsea wanted for her birthday was Crocs. Oh my. No, you didn't want them for your birthday. Chelsea wanted a croc for her birthday. So she got crocs for her birthday. And then all the little pins that go into it. And we also were able to get um, the box of extras. This was $5, and normally they're $5 a pin. And we got 10 extra pins. Yes. So it was quite the deal. And they can trade these out. We got quite a few little pins. We yeah, we got 10 extras. So they put some of them on there. Chelsea, what did Chelsea call this one a remote? I'm like, no, that's an old school phone, my friend. <laughs> Ashley actually got the backpack. We bought this one separate, but hasn't put it on her bag. The Croc store is a fun one to go to. There's one in Wailers Village, and there's also one, isn't there another one? Oh, there's one in Lahaina, like just right there in uh, the main part of town. Is that it, Ash? Oh, and you wanna show your pink ones. And she got her, so cute. Ashley got hers from Lahaina. She got hers on Front Street, and Chelsea got hers from the Wailers Village. And then we got all the pins from the Wailers Village as well. So Ashley, did we do it? I think we forgot something. We, there's a sweatshirt of Kaylee's that we haven't Sweat shown here, but I think that's oh, um, probably it. A sweatshirt, Chelsea's bracelet. No, Chelsea Abby's has- Abby's bracelet. Well, Abby and Chelsea got bracelets that were just like this. So I didn't need to have those in the video. So the last thing that we got, it was at the Whalers Village. There's a little kiosk. I've actually, we actually saw it at a different kiosk as well. As you know, Abby, or Abby, she's 15, has chronic back pain. And we have not been able to figure out what that back pain is or how to make it go away. And right before we left on our trip, we got the approval from her pediatrician to um, go and see a massage therapist. Um, got the referral for it and her insurance will not approve for a massage therapist. We also got an approval for a chiropractor, but again, not approved by our insurance. And so we were kind of stuck paying for either one of those. We were gonna go the route of massage therapist um, out of pocket, which we will do because we want to make sure our kids are not in pain. Those, as we kind of priced out different places, Jason and I went around town and, and went and asked about prices to like a Massage Envy and other actual massage places. Some of them don't have any massager, massage therapists. They, with COVID, they've lost all their massage therapists. So they don't even have anyone available. So we're kind of stuck and we were at a price point, even just for five to eight services of going to a massage therapist, it was going to cost cost us six to $800 just for those six to eight um, times going to a therapist. So that was gonna be the cost. We already knew that we were gonna come back from vacation and go ahead and sign up for one of those options. We just didn't know which one. And we kept seeing this kiosk for this massage tool. I'm not gonna try and say the name. I don't even, it doesn't really have a Pro Touch 612. I don't know. Hi do. Hi do. What does it say? Hi do. Hi do. I don't know what it is. It doesn't matter. Some kind of technology. And I'm not gonna try and explain it here. Um, it's all in this little guy. You put water on the back um, and it activate with an app on an actual separate device. You don't do it on your phone. It's this whole separate device will coordinate all of the massage that you get um, and it just attaches to your back and I think some of them you can strap it to your arm you can strap it to your leg you can put or we have one that goes on your neck and it massages your back and she tried it on and she was like dad can we please get this and actually it was his idea he had seen it at a kiosk and um, we just hadn't gotten the spiel done 
So we went ahead and had them test it out on Abby and she's like, please, this will save you from having to like get a massage therapist and then we get to keep it beyond the, you know, eight visits. Um, we can use this all the time. She can lay in bed with it. Um, it just massages her back. She can stand up, walk around, just stays attached to her. It comes with a bunch of different attachments and the main kit is in here with a whole bunch of other supplies. Again, I'm not gonna go into it a ton. She's already used it here at home. She used it in the hotel. They told her she could even use it on the plane because it doesn't actually use electricity and it doesn't, this app isn't an actual like electronic device. It doesn't use Wi-Fi, and so you can use it on a plane. She just chose to have it packed up and not have to worry about uh, worry about losing the parts by any means and so we just left it packed up but um we are hopeful that over the next couple weeks abby can use this and relieve her back pain so if you have back pain and you're curious about this check out those kiosks i am not earning anything off of this i'm not like getting a referral code for you by, by any means so it's just a good option for us because it was actually cheaper than those eight visits would have been and then we get to keep it and all of us get to use it so i'm gonna try it out on my back pain um, the next time I have back pain. So, I and Ashley uses it I after use it all of them. after cheerleading. So, that was the last big bulk purchase that technically came from our home budget versus our Hawaii budget. So, that's all we got. Kind of changes things that we get every time we go. The kids get older, their interests change. Um, these are kind of the only dinky little things that we got, but it's fine to get the dinky things. Like, you know, we're just kind of rolling with the punches and seeing what we like when we go. And Jason didn't get anything. <laughs> He didn't get anything because he didn't need anything and he's just fine with that. He likes to see the girls shop and have fun and buy their own things and that's great. So okay. let me know if there's you, one, there's one more thing. Jacob's. Oh, does he have it on? I know, Go right. and see if Jacob has his sweatshirt on. It's a great sweatshirt. I don't think he does. I think he wore it the other day. But thank you for joining us for this souvenir video. Let me know if you are headed to Hawaii soon and if you're interested in getting any of these things at any of these stores. I only know of specific stores like the ABC store and the Whalers General Store and Coco Nene and Crocs, I guess, and Billabong. So yeah, if you want to know, <laughs> I guess I know all the stores but a few. We are starting to learn Maui quite well, if you haven't noticed, um, but we are not going back to Maui next. So stay tuned for a year <laughs> and we'll find out what island we're gonna go to next. Take care, I hope you enjoyed this little video and we will see you next time.